Good morning. It's quiet out here. This is uh, February uh, 27. February 27. We had rain last night. Not a lot. It didn't bring the water level up, don't look like. Or I can't hear it anyway. Man, my little pup, Angel, is making her way down through the brush. Going back here to the creek. Why don't we go back here to our spot where we come through and where we like to look at the rocks and stuff. It's pretty out here. You know, there's people that, that uh, sometimes you get into places and you see things and you're like, you're thinking, well, you know, I'm the only one that's ever seen this. The only one that's ever, I mean, the first one to pick up this this rock that's been laying here for all these all these ages and ages, you know, that's washed out of the, out of the, uh, creek bed we find different rocks as the water washes things away it washes the dirt away and you think you know wow i'm the first one to pick this rock up and you hold it in your hand you're looking at it and you see the little um the little fossils that's in it i've got a rock that's that's uh fossilized and it's it's, it's got a a place where a leaf has fell on it and has become part of that rock but on top of that leaf is a is a bird print that's just plain as day you can see the little knuckles in the in the feet of that bird and the toenails on two of these toes you can see it had three toes on it and it's in that mud it's in that fossil that rock and you think you know how many ages or how much time it went by that this bird stepped on that mud, what became a rock, and we picked it up out here. You know, God's creation. <laughs> it's God's creation. God put it here a long, long time ago, and it done what it did, and we see the results of, of it walking. Isn't that neat? But, you know, Christ, Jesus was, was rich and became poor for us. He had all, he had everything. Can you imagine what Jesus gave up? To, became, to become a slave in the form of a slave, the despicable here on earth. He had no peers in heaven. He had no peers in the heavens or here on earth. But he came. He became poor. What is it in 1 Corinthians that God chooses the, the ignoble and the despicable? You know, the stupidity of the world God chooses. It's amazing. You know, God, what God's creation, what, he's, what He has created through Christ. <clears throat> I've got I got I'm gonna go down here in this in this hole. See where I'm at. I'm gonna go down here. In this creek bed. Last time I was here uh, this was full of water. That's the way you get down in the creek. Do it all at once and fast. <laughs> oh, it's not a it's not a bad deal unless you get your foot under a under a uh, a branch. <laughs> then you get to walking kind of funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, last time I was here, this water this hole was full of water. And the water was running good, so there'll be some new rocks in here to look for, and uh, all kinds of treasures. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. All right, enough of me rambling. I'm back here where I need to be, and I want to look at this stuff here in a little bit. Uh, 
the references here to 1 Timothy 1, verse 14, <clears throat> I find through Paul's writings. And so we'll go through these and uh, see where they come out, all right? This is through uh, Paul, you know, the risen Christ revealed himself to, to Paul with a message for us, for us today. So that's why I stick with Paul, because of that. So here's what we got. Yet the grace of our Lord overwhelms with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Now the God of peace will be crushing Satan under your feet swiftly. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that being rich because of you he became poor that you by his poverty should be rich rich beyond all me we have all every spiritual blessing in the celestials can you imagine that beyond our comprehension the wealth we have the spiritual wealth we have is beyond what we can ever imagine how awesome is that the grace of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all but not as the offenses, thus also the grace. For if by the offense of the one, the many died, that be Adam, much rather the grace of God and the gratuity in grace and which is of the one man, Jesus Christ, to the many superabounds. And not as through one act of sinning is a gratuity, for indeed the judgment it out of, is out of one into condemnation. Yet the grace is out of many offenses into a just award. For if by the offense of the one death reigns through the one, much rather those obtaining the superabundance of grace and the gratuity of righteousness shall be reigning in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Consequently then, as it was through the offense for all mankind for condemnation, thus also it is through one just award for all mankind for life's justifying. For even as through the obedience, through the disobedience of the one man, Adam, the many were constituted sinners. Thus also, through the obedience of the one, Jesus Christ, the one, the many shall be constituted just. Yet law came in by the way that the offense should be increasing. Yet where sin increases, grace super exceeds. <laughs> that even as sin reigns in death, thus grace also should be reigning through righteousness for life Ionian through Jesus Christ our Lord. Isn't that powerful? Wow. I turned this page. <laughs> Yet, in the grace of God, I am what I am. And His grace, which is in me, did not come to be for naught, but more exceedingly than all of them toil I. Yet not I, but the grace of God which is in me, in whom we are having the deliverance through the blood, through the blood of Christ, His blood, the forgiveness of offenses, and in accord with the riches of His grace, which He lavishes on us in all wisdom and prudence. Yet we, being of the day, may be sober, putting on the crash of, of faith and love, and the helmet, the expectation of salvation. Have a pattern of sound words for which you hear from me in faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. The ideal thing committed to you, guard through the Holy Spirit, which is making its home in you. And that's the references, right? <clears throat> Let me put this thing up. The references to uh, Timothy, 1 Timothy 1 14. Put that in my pocket in here. So I don't lose it. 
Yep. Christ. Through the mourn man Adam, all sin and death is through that one man. And here we have a one man, Jesus Christ, gave up all, everything, become in the likeness of us, sin's flesh, crucified and died was entombed for three days, three nights. And the faith that he had in his father, his father roused him out from among the dead, vivifying him. And that same spirit that lives in us is the same spirit that roused Christ from among the dead. The same spirit lives in us. We will be vivified also. We will have life beyond the reach of death. Jesus has defeated death and is defeating death for all mankind. God will lose none of his creation. So, isn't that neat? We have that to look forward to. Our expectation is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So, anyway, it's going to be a great day. Thanks to see what God's got for us. You? Let's go see. And uh, I'm going to stumble around back here for a bit. But it's time to get the day started. Appreciate you guys. I love you and thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.